Hello everyone, welcome back to our series, Are We There Yet? You're you. I'm me. And I'm V. Last week we talked about perseverance, especially in difficult situations. Not the easiest thing to do. No, and persevering through difficult situations can be kind of scary sometimes. Uh, you must have been reading my notes from my adventure. Or your diary. Uh, nope, I don't have one of those. Oh. <laughs> well, okay, then let's just check on what your adventure was this week. Yeah, it was super fun and I had Kyle with me. So he's super cool, so let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome to you, me, and me. Kyle and I are going on a rock climbing adventure, as you can see. Got his helmet on. I got my harness. We are so excited today. Yeah. How do you feel about heights, though? I feel like I'm good with heights, but I've never done this before. So okay. I don't know how I'm going to feel when I get up there. Part of me thinks I'm just going to get up there and be great at it. Part of me thinks... It's gonna be a little bit shaky, so. <laughs> well, that's why I do this all the time, and I do not like heights at all. Like, not even a little bit. I do this all the time. I know how to do it, but not necessarily, you know, I don't like, ugh, I just don't like heights. So, sometimes in life, we face obstacles. Sometimes they're not always fun. But I got a feeling this one's gonna be fun. I think so too. All right, let's go check it out, let's go. <laughs> We made it, V. We did it. We made it. We made it. We completed <laughs> that was some hard. obstacles. That, that was, was hard. That was hard. Those obstacles were fun, but challenging. They were. And, you know, before I said that, I didn't know how I was going to do up there. And the height didn't really bother me, but it was, it was jumping off. It was letting go. <laughs> yeah. I felt like I didn't tr trust the rope. But those <laughs> systems are there to protect us. I can have hope and faith in that rope that's gonna protect me from yeah. falling. Because our one thing, just like that rope, <sighs> yeah. with God, we, we will, will be, be courageous. courageous. Right, and so, yeah, when I was definitely up there, I'm sure, um, you know, we've got plenty of footage of that. <laughs> but Well, he I, was up there and he's like, I can't do this, I'm, I'm not letting go, I can't trust I it. I didn't want to let go, but be just like, just be courageous and jump off you and it's it. gonna protect you, so. You did. Yeah, High five, man. thank you, it was fun. <laughs> What about you? What did you think? Um, well, obviously I don't like heights, but I had a lot of fun. There are a lot of obstacles. You saw, like, you'll see in all these different colors, um, which is a different type of obstacle. It's, you know, level of hard or easy or that kind of stuff. I did the easy ones, obviously. Uh, but it was just, you know, all these obstacles in life. Sometimes they're fun, sometimes they're not fun. And you just got to trust God with it, though. Yeah, yeah, there's things in our lives that we struggle with, that, that we have obstacles that we need to overcome. Uh, I think back to my time when I was in college and just, um, you know, what am I gonna do with my life? And I don't know what God has for me, what my plan is. And I had to be, I had to trust him. I had to be courageous in my faith and just say, God, you are in control. I know that what you've got for me is what's best for me. And I could just release that to you and, and you've got the plan and path yeah. for me. So this was a little bit more fun today. <laughs> yeah. Um, but still having to take that courage, having to having to have that faith. Yeah. Um, it was like a that, blast. That leap of faith literally for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, Kyle, with that rope, you mm -hmm. had hope. Mm -hmm. Wait. With that rope. rope, you had hope. Rope? Hope. hope. Hey, when we were in there and you were up on the top, I was laying on the ground out of breath. <laughs> I fell off. I was laying on the ground. And I wrote down a rap. You came up with a rap? I wrote a rap. Am okay. I about to hear you rap right go. now? Rope and hope. Okay. Okay, wait. When I was climbing up the trees, rattling my knees. Oh, but then I looked at this rope and I thought, dope. Okay. I'm <laughs> tethered yet unfettered because I got hope and it's so dope. I'm tethered yet unfeathered to G-O-D party. Oh. What do you 
guys think? What do you think? Well, that was something. That uh -huh. was something. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, what do you think? Good? Yeah? Good? Was, All right. You know, it was well, a great effort. Good. Anyway. Yeah. Man, I'm just so energized. I feel like, <laughs> what if we went ziplining? Zip lining. I just looked up a spot. It's got a, a mile long zipline through the trees. Okay. Are you not exhausted? Right over the... No, no, not at all. And you're not afraid of heights, right? Uh, oh. Yeah, I am. Remember? Ooh. But I will be courageous and I will trust God with it. That's right. So I guess let's go. I guess we're going to go zip lining now. Let's do it. Road right. trip. And that's a wrap for you. Me. And we. Bye. <laughs>
not nine feet tall, by the way. Small man. Yeah. Maybe maybe average height, um, but he's he's also a shepherd. So he's trained as a shepherd to take care of the flock. You gotta do everything in your power to take care of the flock. Mm -hmm. That means that he's killed bears and lions because if they start coming after the sheep, you gotta get rid of them. You yeah. cannot let that, you know, come up against your sheep. So he's trained. Well, one day, he, his dad says, hey, go take some food to your brothers who are, you know, in the army. They're, they're all kind of getting ready to fight and whatnot. So he goes, he takes his food, and Goliath is standing there, and he's taunting this army. He's going, yeah. none of you can face me. You're all afraid of me, you know? Not being very nice. No. <laughs> what the hell? But, you know, David sees what's going on, and he, he goes up to Saul. He's like, hey, I can fight. I can fight Goliath. Yeah. And so Saul, who's the king, he says, okay, little dude, you can go fight Goliath and let me give you some armor. So they put on Saul's armor on David. <laughs> I can only imagine how awkward he looked. He, it probably didn't fit right, maybe a little bigger than him. And so he decides, he's like, I can't fight in this. So he takes it all off and he's just, he's just David. Yeah. Just David. Goliath has a sword. Nine feet tall, I can only imagine how big his sword must have been. And David chooses something so small to go up against Goliath. Yeah, a rock. A rock. He goes down to the stream, he picks up a rock, and he's like, I got my sling, I've got some smooth rocks from the river. I'm gonna yeah. go fight this guy. David brought a rock to a sword fight. <laughs> but he's like, I got God on my side, I'm not worried. I am not worried about fighting this guy because God is on my side. Yeah. So he goes up to Goliath and Goliath starts taunting him. Yeah. And just like belitt belittling him. And David's like, I'm going to kill you and it's okay because God's on my side mm -hmm. and I know what's right. And so David takes his rock, takes his sling. Yeah. You know, he hits Goliath with the rock and nine foot dude with his sword falls. face down into the dirt he falls he falls into the dirt and david goes and he you know cuts off goliath's head with goliath's own sword <laughs> yeah. he literally defeated a giant i don't think there's anything more belittling than um your head being cut off by your own sword <laughs> Like, you know. Oh man, but the courage to be like this little guy with a yeah. rock to go up against a this nine, nine foot, foot guy. Giant. Yeah. And he's like, no big, God's on my side. He's not even phased by it guys, no. like at all. I only hope that I can have the courage that David had in my life every day to yeah. face those giants. But if man. It only took a rock. <laughs> If you know. David can do it with a rock, we can do it with God's power on our side to, yeah. to face those giants. Wow, that story is just super powerful. And, you know, with God, I will be courageous. You know, that Bible yeah. verse, that, you know, that Bible story, just that the whole courage. thing, that the, all the courage that it took. And for me to remember, you know, I can be courageous too. Yeah, with God, I can be courageous. Number one, remember God's promises. God's promises are our armor and protection. David knew and understood this. It's one of the reasons we need to put his promises to memory. Yeah, and we can see in Hebrews 10, 23 that it says this, let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep his promises. It's hard to imagine God not keeping his promises. As followers of God, he makes a lot of promises to us and he keeps them yeah. and he says he's going to keep them. Um, you know, throughout Bi the Bible, you hear about all the promises. God has never failed at one of them. And every memory verse that we have for our series, those are promises from God. Those are things to put to memory so that you can remember, hey, God promises this to me. Yeah. Um, these few verses, they're so important when we're facing a giant in life that's taunting us because we can then recall that verse and say, no, you're wrong. Yeah. Whatever's taunting me, 
God says this. Yeah, I'm listening to God's promise. Yeah. So you can speak his promises in those moments of fear because you know it by heart. You put the time in to memorize it. Yeah. Otherwise, you may end up listening to that giant and you start cowering like the army of Israel was. I mean, they literally were going, we can't fight this guy. Yeah. He's taunting us. whole army. And one little dude was like, I got this. Yeah. God wants um, to fill you with courage, um, joy, to conquer those giants. Yeah. Yeah. Because with God, I will be courageous. Exactly. Let's all say that together. With, with God, God, I, I will, will be, be courageous. courageous. So number one, remember God's promises. And number two, focus on God's power. Psalm 18, 2 says this. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my savior. My God is my rock, in whom I find protection. He is my shield, the power that saves me, and my place of safety. God never puts us in a situation of facing a giant without preparing us. We can at times grumble and complain, and we miss out on the training that he's giving us for the future. So we should take seriously the moments of training each day. Those moments when we're like, oh, I don't want to do this. Look at that as a moment to grow. I mean, David, as a shepherd, had to train. He had to learn how to take care of his sheep, and he had to learn how to take down a bear and a blind. Yeah, and, exactly. Well, David yeah. was ready for this moment. Yeah. You know, because of what God had done in and through him as a shepherd, yep. he was prepared. He was. So what is it that you might be dealing with right now that God is making sure you're prepared for so that when you're facing that giant, you're ready? What's your Goliath in your life right now? David may have felt at that time of facing a lion and a bear that were the giants. Yep. You know, I mean, giants, but little <laughs> giants, I guess. Yeah, but in that moment, you know, in that moment they were for him. Yeah. But God used them as preparation for Goliath. Yep. With God, I will be courageous. Imagine how different your life would be as you begin to live in courageous joy. Imagine the differences as you remember his promises rather than the giants you're facing. And what an amazing freedom as you focus on his power rather than your own. Yeah. Here's our challenge for you this week. Pick one of the points from today and focus on putting them into practice. We want to pray for you as you commit to this step and as you start living courageously because you know God is on your side. Yeah. Let's pray. Dear God, we all have the Goliath in our lives. We all have that thing that, you know, takes the joy and takes the courage from us. And we just ask that you help us face our giants. Help us face our Goliath, whatever that may be. Um, Lord, give us courage and strength and prepare us for what lies ahead to be able to conquer that giant. Thank you for trusting us and believing us and getting us ready to do all those things. Lord, we ask that this week, as we are talking about our giants or thinking about our giants, that we still remember that you got us, that you're here for us, that you have prepared us, and that you will always have our backs. And I pray. Amen. Amen. Guys, this has been such a fun series, not only seeing your adventures, but really learning that we're human. We make mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Things are going to happen. We're not going to be there yet. We're not perfect like Jesus yet. And that's okay. Yeah. Because we can always just lean on God and just trust him that he'll take care of us because he promises to. And uh, we can just continually work to be more like him. Yeah. Well, I forgot to give you this last time. It's from where we went. Aww. It's a sticker, not a magnet this time. It's not going to stick, huh? No, we can put it right here. Zion. So everyone can see it. Oh. Yeah. There you go. I didn't get you anything from rock climbing. Um, so I figured that I'd just take you though. So we could start mm -hmm. my adventures together and I want to end my adventures with you too. So let's plan to go rock climbing this week. Okay, maybe next time we see you, we'll be yeah. rock climbing. Yeah, well, you know, a giant, you know, rock wall is a giant. <laughs> so we have to face <laughs> that. I have to face my fears of uh, my wobbly legs again, but I will do it for Christy because she's my best friend. <laughs> Thanks guys.